it's Alex and I'm here today with Joseph Lloyd from Lloyd Vehicle Consulting and he's brought me a German vehicle to try not the AA van this one I need to find the keys. Oh, <laughs> I think it's one of these funny cars again. It just unlocks when you touch the handle. Strange. Still can't get the hang of that. Right, so this is a Mercedes C200 from 2017. It's got a two litre petrol engine with a nine speed automatic gearbox. But that's not the gear selector, <laughs> as I once thought it was. I violently grabbed that, trying to change gear. Um, this is the gear selector, this little stick. And you press that to put it into park. It's all electronic. Kind of looks like Roland Rat. <laughs> right, let's get the keys off Joseph. I haven't got any pockets today, hence why Joseph is the holder of the keys. Now, I am absolutely miles away from the pedals, and it's got electric seats on the door. So we'll just turn it on. And move forwards <laughs> by pressing a button. Ooh. Now it looks as though there's lots of different adjustments. Even the headrest. Oh, it's a bit posh, isn't it? And there's a bolster thing here as well. That's electronically movable. So you can get extra comfy in this, along with heated seats. Mercedes Benz. <laughs> you know that, that having that on the light there, that, that means it's twice the amount of money than other cars. <laughs> this car costs over £30,000 new. Madness. Let's have a look in the back. Now I've heard the rear leg room is a bit rubbish. Okay, so if you've got the seat forward like this passenger seat is, there's quite a lot of leg room. But if you've got the seat in Joseph's driving position, there's, there's not a lot of leg room there, is there? And apparently, because of this roof, there's not a lot of headroom either. Hmm. I've just got in the back. <laughs> and this seat is in Joseph's driving position. I am pushed up against this, which is some kind of document holder. is smashing in my shins. There's these outcuts here but my knees don't actually get into that outcut because this is hitting my shins <laughs> i can't believe for an estate car this leg room is poor and painful because that's not really soft headroom for me i'm five foot six i think or maybe five foot seven with my boots on um, headroom's fine for me, but Joseph's 5'11 and he was a bit up here. <laughs> the roof's interesting. There's no control for the passenger in the rear to control this blind. You've got to rely on the driver doing that, I guess. Hmm. But I say, this seat looks like it's been tilted forward on purpose so a passenger can sit comfortably in the back. Because to be honest, the way that seat's tilted forwards, I don't think that would be comfortable for the passenger in the front. Looks like we've got vents here we can turn on and off. What have we got down here, anything? Just a little storage compartment. Ugh. We've got a very posh looking armrest here. It's not that soft, really. Hmm. Creaky. 
Oh, I see, that's your cup holder, which is a bit, it's a bit clumsy. But I guess it works if you've got a cup. One on each side. And this isn't real leather, it's Artico leather, I think they call it. Uh, it's like vinyl, but probably less painful in the summer. There's yeah, loads of room in the back, but not here. Hmm. One thing I do like about Mercedes, is they've normally got this function. Now this one's quite sophisticated because it seems as though it's an electronic opening. It could just be the movement of the struts making it come up almost robotically. But then if we look, it has got the button to close it. Now you see my dad's got a 1998, well it was actually mine, but I sold it to him. 1998 C-Class and you press the boot button on the remote and the boot just springs open because the only electric part of it is the catch and so it, it, it's on big springs and the boot just springs open and sort of hits you in the face whereas this is obviously electronic <laughs> which is quite nifty Plenty of boot space. Joseph's got all his luggage in here today. And this weird thing here. Oh, so you can pull that back, have it there, or you can weirdly have it there. I've not seen that before. Very strange. Looks like there's some sort of rear view blind. Yeah, like a bit of a luggage net you can pull up and hook onto here. Um, you can probably get adapters for that. Maybe, I don't know, if you've got a dog and you need a dog protective bit to keep the dog in the back. I mean, it'd be ideal room in there to have a nice dog crate, wouldn't it? Oh, it doesn't shut on the key. Okay, we've got to press the button. Interesting. <laughs> it's got parking sensors on the rear. And... Ah, that's not the exhaust. Where's the exhaust? Oh, here it is. Completely obscured. Is there a camera at the back? Can't see one. Maybe it's well hidden. Lots of leg room for the front passenger and electric seats. Memory electric seats for the passenger. I've not seen that before and a heated seat function. I wonder what this blanking plate's for. I wonder if there's another optional extra you can get. This is rather nice. Brushed aluminium. Round vents. Seem to be popular on a lot of new cars now. God, there's loads of them. Look at them all. It's like an aircraft cockpit. So you managed to get 43 miles per gallon? Yeah, I got 43 miles per gallon on the way here today. It's about wow. 94 miles. Is, is that driving sensibly? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in, in economy mode and oh, with yes. cruise control you on. You said about economy mode. Yeah, there's so, a little dynamic selector on oh the left-hand side. Do we have to start it up to look at that? You have to, yeah. But very annoyingly, the car will always, always start in comfort mode. Even if you put it in the eco mode, it always starts and in comfort. The different modes, what does that do? Is it the suspension? Oh, you'll find out. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> you will find out. If you put this in Sport Plus, you'll be sideways out of every junction. <laughs> I've even got sideways in this car in economy mode. Oh, my God. And this, this is going to take a while. Oh, dear. There's a I hope lot I've got of, enough memory on my camera. There's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> I've sat Joseph in lot. here this time, so we can have a look at the 
Is that a touch screen on the dash? No, it's, you, okay. you control it with this. Okay, we're going to have a look at the funny mouse it's thing actually, and the tablet on the screen. It's actually <laughs> easier to use with a touch screen, but you need to get used to it. Mm. And that, I mean, I, I've I've driven this car for four and a half years, so I'm, I'm used to it. You're used to it. To it. We'll, let, well, we'll let Joseph manhandle the machine then. One thing, <laughs> if you look at the, this side of the steering wheel, you can see it's actually got three stalks on the left-hand side. Oh gosh! So and the paddle. Got to as be well. really careful that when you are on the motorway, you're not changing lanes with the cruise control lever. <laughs> and actually, on a, on a Tesla, that is the autopilot lever because they, they use Mercedes switch gear on a Tesla, so, and that's the autopilot. Hang on lever. a minute! All that's over here is the, the gear, gear change. Yeah, that's it. Which Where's is, the indicators? They're here. And so the, the indicators and the wipers, and the wipers are all and on the wipers. one stalk. Yeah, indicators and the oh, wipers see, all yeah. on one. You actually, because this car's got automatic lights and wipers, it's not a massive problem. Oh, okay. But so you all to, you got to do is indicate. <laughs> yeah, but you have to know that pushing that in does the, the front washer. The rear washer is on here, and there's a rear wiper. That's, that's the most so of much things. on one stick. I know you get used to. Mercedes oh. have done this kind of thing for I don't know donkeys years, thirty years. They oh. used to have the wipers and the indicators on one stalk. I don't know why. And what's the third one in there? That's the electric adjustment for the steering column. You oh, have wow. to get used to where things are, and mm. they're all, and, and the feel of the buttons is identical. It looks very nice, mm. but I think this is a really poor design, personally. It's random. It's got a, a vent in the middle. Yeah, as well. it's very Mercedes Benz, very sort of like that. Mm. But you think that you know, thirty five thousand pounds, you kind of expect those to feel a bit better. Buttons. It does actually have a CD player, unlike a lot of modern cars. Oh, wow. So we can push that back. Like so. Oh, I see. It's doing both blinds, so yeah, you can't do them individually. I don't think so. No. Ooh. You can write your finger on this little thing to do the sat nav directions. You can write on this little pad. I, I write on it. Yeah, you can write sort of out. I oh never, ever, God. ever use that. Ever. I know no. a lot of a lot of your channel viewers will not like stop start. They won't. They won't they like it. Like, who who likes stop start? Uh, I do. You like it? Yes. Ah, oh, what a weirdo! Mr. <laughs> You're Mr. like the only person yeah. I've ever met that I, says you like it. I'm really strange. That's what I like. I, I like strange things. I don't know how things. it works on an automatic either. Oh, it, it just does. You, you'll 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 find really? out when you drive it. But it, really it, it works. It works perfectly well. Oh. It's not a problem. Well, I'm going to chuck you in the back now, so you can yeah, have you the throw, terrible you're leg room. Throw me out. You can have the terrible leg room. Yeah, you throw me out. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to stick the camera, so you can be the front passenger. I, There's it's okay Joseph's you to move headroom, head like this, which because I'll crack it, you know. Yeah, so it's, don't fall asleep and lean to the right, basically. Just don't, because you won't like it. No, and I've put the seat right forward, so Joseph has got a I've bit got, of leg I've room. I've got loads of room time. now. It's brilliant. But my seat is right forward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to worry about the handbrake. It's all automatic. Don't worry about the handbrake. So um, it's just, in eco mode, yeah, and we've eco got mode. sport steering. Sport steering, although which I can still turn very easily. But just uh, so put your foot on the brake, just stick it to drive using the. <laughs> Right hand, right, no, 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 <laughs> right hand lever, right hand lever. I want to grab this. No, just right hand lever. Just down? That's it, you drive. D1. Uh, yeah, and it just pull away now. No hand, handbrake. Ha handbrake's off, the, the light's not on the dash, so off you go. Oh God, here we go. Another episode of Classic Car Owner Reviews. Some random modern car that Joseph brought. <laughs> It does sound a little bit diesel-y, doesn't it? It's a really not a very nice sounding engine at all. It's, it's sort of gruff. Because my dad's C180, yeah. which is from 1998, when you accelerate that, you sort of, you almost hear the of the air being sucked in. You don't really hear the engine that much. I mean, it is a, it is a really big car, isn't it? I feel it feels even bigger than it is. I mean, it, just as well on this one, there's front and rear parking sensors and a reversing camera because you absolutely need oh. them. I mean, and what's the 0 to 60 in this? It's under eight seconds in this. Eight seconds? It's quite oh fast. If you kind of stick it in Sport Plus and then you sort of go for it. But even in eco mode, this thing will kick down and you can do highly illegal speeds really quite easily oh you need God. to watch the, you need to watch the speed cameras in this yeah um i mean c63 amg is a t entirely different matter like that's like license lost immediately the moment you're on a motor <laughs> um you've got to be a bit careful <laughs> that 
that's the thing I find with modern cars, it's too easy to speed. Oh gosh, yeah, it's really easy to speed in this. At least in my old classics, they sort of make a lot of noise and you think, oh, I'm going a bit fast here, you know. <laughs> Whereas this sort of feels the same at any speed, doesn't it? It just yeah. goes. A lot of the time you wouldn't even know it's rear wheel drive, you just wouldn't you wouldn't feel it unless you stick it to Sport Plus and put your foot down on a junction and slide. I was going to say, unless it was icy or something. You might yeah, feel exactly. It. But it, it's a very, very stable, competent car on the motorway, and of and course that's... Can you change the, the setting while you're yeah, driving? Yeah, 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 absolutely. You can have a fiddle with it. Wow, I'm going to have a fiddle. You push it up and then... Oh, I see. Yeah, there it's you come go. Up you, on can, the you can you can select. So that's one you that's want. just sport there. You can, you, can you, can you, sport can you, plus. Can might you be hear that the engine notes changed? I didn't actually know. Yeah, the engine notes changed. Just put you down. It put you down a couple of gears. It's a nine-speed transmission. Did it? You, and you, you'll feel it's a lot more responsive now. Well, I won't go over this bump too fast. But no, you don't want to do that. There's a forty limit here, so we might get away with. Uh, putting the foot down a little bit. Now, now some of these had adaptive suspension, this one doesn't, but okay. if, you, if you played with the uh, selector. I thought the comfort thing was in that, I thought it might have been the no, suspension. No, there's no adaptive, adaptive suspension in this one, that was on some of the other models. Not, you don't need something like that, do you? I mean, it's to be right, we're honest. on sport mode now, I'm not going to go too mad turning, because I don't want to kill us, but well, you can feel it, yeah. <laughs> You're even sport oh plus, my yeah. Oh god, <laughs> that was just sport. That was that wasn't sport plus. Jesus. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> the needle just went to 40 straight away and I had to back off. Yeah. Try sport oh plus then. Oh my god, I will in a minute. <laughs> Suffice it to say, if you want to go out of a junction, wow. you, do, you just can. You put it in sport or sport plus. <laughs> Now you I might know. go. You might go sideways slightly. The traction control will stop you. Now I know why people say that things like my Rover's slow <laughs> because if things oh, gosh, like this yeah. are out there, this is this is oh the C200. This isn't even the like C250, C300. You know, nothing like that. Are you a Sport, Sport Plus. Plus? See how that feels to you when you go well, around I'm, a corner. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take it steady going around here because. I want to turn around and go back on the 40 mile an hour limit because uh, it's not right accelerating harsh on a 30, is it? <laughs> right, well, we'll just go slowly around got the a corner. Bit of Sport Plus coming because up. Because we're going to go out, out the back of this Nissan otherwise, aren't we? Right. Wow! <laughs> it's like driving a go kart. <laughs> Formula One. If you keep, you're only in third gear out of nine at 40 miles an hour. If you flick that back into economy mode, it'll probably take Drop you to right sixth down. gear. It's put down to eco. You're in four. four. Yeah, it just, it, and then it's, it's, you can't even feel the changes five. most of the time. There you go, five. No. You're, in, you're in fifth gear at 30. And you've got oh, four oh, more gears oh, to go. Oh my god. It's frightening. <laughs> it's absolutely frightening, isn't it? There's a hill up here. I bet it absolutely flies up that, doesn't it? Yeah, but if you, if you have it in the Sport Plus, it would do. I mean, it's it's God. economy mode for me is absolutely fine for virtually every driving situation. But if you want, God, I feel like my guts have gone up <laughs> in the in my back somewhere. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect that. I didn't. Yeah, well, it's it, it, you, you can't looking like this. You don't expect to actually be that fast, but it, no, it is. No, it's a if you want it to be, it is fast, but if you just, you know, just do motorway journeys and sort of drive normally, then it's absolutely fine. I was you get. I say, if we, if you carried on in sport, oh. gosh, your miles per gallon would be down. Oh, yeah, but, but you know, but that's a furious driving way. <laughs> there is actually a manual mode for the transmission. There's two little, pa there's two little paddles. Um, Behind the um, behind the, the steering wheel. So can you just use you, you those now? Use, yeah, you can use those to oh, change gear. Oh, M three. Yeah, manual three. Your manual three. Yeah, and you can M4, change. Yeah. But you can't feel the change. Actually, I know. You've that's, got that's, to rely on the yeah, yeah. display. Really. When you, it's I I don't you ever ever use that. I never use that. And if you want to put it back into automatic, uh, what just do you push do? D down again. It will probably. There you go. Yeah. It's done it now. There you go. Sound very it doesn't nice. sound no. exciting, does it? No, it's, it's, it's not really. 
Goodness. But it is quite exciting when you put your foot down. Well, yeah, if you if you were, if you're just if you just shut that noise out, then it, it's, it's fine. I mean, it, it's, it's nice to hear the engine sort of rising and falling. It's yeah. just um, compared to like I don't know a like KB6 engine or the P4's six-cylinder engine. It's yeah. nothing like that. No, not at all. Or even the Metro. No, 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 no. no not the exhaust. At all. We'll go back and we'll pop the bonnet and have a look to see what is under there. Probably just a load of plastic covers under it. Yeah, and there's lots of plastic covers in this. We'll have a look though. So see, looking in the mirror, it looks like I'm going to hit my No, you won't. You won't. You won't. You've got miles miles got loads of room. It's fine. That's weird. It's not even setting off the, uh, the display for how close you are to anything. I mean, it is pretty close to be fair, but it hasn't been. No. Oh, oh. What's that? That's a there's, a there's a stick underneath the oh, car. Sorry. Um, sorry, it doesn't matter. We won't do anything to it. There we are. I'll just... We'll just leave it about there. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, so push the gear stick in to park. And, and no handbrake. The handbrake will come on automatically. Oh. Lift, lift your foot off. It'll come on. And that's it. Oh, it, it doesn't even need it. Just turn the car off. It's fine. Wow. You don't need because it's an auto. You don't even need a handbrake on. So it's fine. Mm. Turn it on. <laughs> it made a creaky. Oh, I see, it's on now. Yeah, yeah. That was it, what that noise was. It does it all automatically for you. You don't have to worry about anything. How strange. It is, yeah. Right, bonnet pole. Ah, oh, gas struts. Of course, quality. Mercedes have um, also got this fancy hinge that you can adapt so the bonnet lifts right up out of the way so you can do all your servicing and that. Not that you would really at home. Um, <laughs> Here's the engine, two litre petrol as we said. It actually has got a dipstick, which is unusual. Because a lot of cars have electronic dipstick, but you can probably still check the oil on the dashboard. Gosh, yeah. I wouldn't want to try and service this one at home. <laughs> it's very compact. In fact, can't even check the coolant level. How are you meant to know how much coolant's in there when it's black? Well, that's a bit of a poor design. Brake fluid's under a little flap. Feels a bit cheap. Battery's hidden away somewhere, so they've given us jump start points here and here. That's a negative, that's positive. Screen wash. That's about all you'll ever touch under here, really. Well, that's a that's a big engine bay, isn't it? It's a big bonnet. Well, I didn't realise that that yeah. actually moves with the bonnet. And look, it's the bonnet, the boot. Light, lights here as well. So it light, and all the lights in here will light up as well. It's really it's really nice. Actually. Oh, cool. But of course, it's um. Yeah. Right, I need to go and sit down and have a cup of tea after that because I'm not used to that power. Thanks for watching. Bye. A big thanks to Joseph and his mum for letting me film the Mercedes. Make sure you check out Joseph's channel. I'll put the link in the description.